Hey, yo, hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing Aquaman, issue number five. Take a look at this comic cover right here. Now, this is the start to a new story arc with Aquaman, and as such, it is told from two different angles or perspectives. The first angle or perspective is that of Aquaman walking through the desert without any water and getting dehydrated really quickly. And the second angle, or perspective, is the events leading up to him being in the desert. You see, Aquaman is trapped in the desert and, of course, being a fish out of water, <laughs> no pun intended, uh, he is dying quite quickly. See, he is getting dehydrated quite quickly, he needs water, and uh, he's starting to hallucinate. And of course, what does he hallucinate of? It is of his father. I kind of find it funny and a little cliche that whenever someone starts to hallucinate and see things, they always see someone that they love or someone that uh, that's close to them, but that person's always an asshole. Um, it would be funny if Aquaman hallucinates and he sees like Barney, and Barney's there and he's like, Yo, Aquaman, you okay? You need some water. Instead of his father being like, Hey, you're an asshole. You're acting like an asshole. So, um, yeah, it's kind of cliche. His father shows up. I would rather have Barney there or Captain Jean-Luc Picard or maybe Randy Orton, but hey, you get what you get. Anyways, so what events lead up to this? Well, apparently, in the ordeal that deals with the trench, um, a little trinket was found by the U.S. government. This trinket is the A symbol that Aquaman has on his belt, but it's actually the symbol for Atlantis. And Aquaman confirms that this is kind of like a black box. It records a message. It's old technology, and he needs to find out exactly what's on this old technology. However, a group of individuals bust in and take this black box away. I don't really know what to call it. A recorder, a black box, a data tracker, I don't know. Take it away and Aquaman pursues him. And those events eventually lead up to him being in the desert. So will Aquaman have the stamina enough to get out of the desert? Will he be able to find out what's on that black box? And what does Atlantis have to do with anything going on with Talay? Well, you're just going to have to wait and see. Let's get into the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Good. Well, uh, there's some good fighting in this. There's some good action. Uh, and this good setup for the story. The the data recorder, black box, messenger, thingamajiggy. Uh, it does set up for what will be an interesting story arc. Just from seeing it, it looks like it will be an interesting story arc. Um, a very Atlantis-heavy story arc. But this is not Atlantis that we know. This is the Atlantis before it sunk. So that makes it even more interesting. Uh, Aquaman also being without water in the desert is an interesting concept, although very short-lived. Um, it is kind of cool to see him being a, again, no pun intended, fish out of water. So that was good, too. Uh, the art was good as always, uh, and the resolve to this issue was also good. Bad. Uh, not enough Mira in this. I love Mira to death. And she's probably going to be spotlighted in the next issue, because the next issue kind of hints towards that. Uh, but I love Mira to death, and it would have been nice to have a little bit more of her. I really like the relationship that Mira and Aquaman have. It's really a, a cool, a cool kind of old-fashioned fantasy-like uh, relationship. Uh, you know, Aquaman is actually, it reminds me a lot of, like, D&D &D and fantasy stories, uh, because they're both fantasy-esque characters, but... Uh, uh, would like a little bit more mirror in this. Two is that it wraps up a little too quickly with Aquaman getting out of the desert. I mean, Aquaman's not going to die. Come on. Come on. So it, revol uh, it resolves a little bit too quickly. And I also think it's a little cliche that his father shows up and taunts him. Uh, I mean, who else are you going to really do? But it happens all the time that a loved one from someone's past that they can't talk to, or someone that they hold dear, always comes in and acts like a dick and then taunts them. Um, so, that was a little cliche. But, on a whole, this was a great issue. Four out of five stars, definitely recommend picking up, and a pretty good setup issue for what will come. Um, I enjoyed this. Aquaman is one of the best of the DC New 52. So pick it up. If you have not started reading Aquaman yet, it's not too late to jump on the bandwagon. Especially with a um, new issue and a new story arc, jump on if you can. Uh, this is Andrew saying, 
Peace out. Put out.